Hi, I'm Dakota and this is my family. These are my parents. This is my little brother Angus and my little sister Jane. Today we are preparing to travel across the Oregon Trail. We have saved for months and collected supplies. We are looking for a new life so we decided to become homesteaders in the Oregon country. Hey, who are you talking to? Our pet mule. Which one? Snail. Why? It won't be long before he gets sold. Or dies. Don't worry, Snail. He doesn't mean it. Everyone in the wagon. We believe that we are fulfilling manifest destiny by traveling west. Dakota, we're stopping. You need to get Snail. Are we at the Columbia River yet? <laughs> of course not, sweetie. We aren't even around the Appalachians. A, A few, few weeks, weeks later. later. Look, it's the Mississippi River. We need to get set up for the night. Girls, get to cooking. Angus? Yeah, Pa? When you stay at Rad for a boy, get the wood. Later, Later that, that evening. evening. Wake up, everyone. It's time to cross the Mississippi River. Okay, so what we are going to do is get the mules over first, then the wagon and supplies. Go team! Look, it's Mormons! Jay, don't be so rude. A few, a few days, days later. later. Hello again. We have spent the last few days here with the Mormons. We learned about them and the gold rush. Wait, let me tell Sam about the gold rush. Fine. Wait, you go first. Okay. We are in the camp with Brigham Young. He told us about how Joseph Smith founded the Church of Latter-day Saints and how he was imprisoned and later killed. Brigham Young brought the church and members to Utah to escape the U.S. government because they wanted to do things that was against the federal law. They almost went to war with the U.S. over it, but it was avoided. My turn! The gold rush started in California, and the news of gold nuggets above ground spread like wildfire. Many citizens and miners headed west for hopes of profit. When they eventually arrived to the mine for the gold, they had their... They struck out because most of the land had already been mined through. They set up their new life, and the generation was forever to be known as the California 49ers. In the future, they might even name a football team after. That's ridiculous, Angus. That'll never happen. Everyone say your goodbyes, then get in the wagon. We're here. Yay, let's go watch the railroad being built. Hello, my name is Molly. I came here from my home country to make money for my family, though I only make $28 a month. We had very little belongings, so they sent their only daughter to work on the railroad. Get back to work. Yes, sir. Mally is working on a new railroad that will be known as the Transcontinental Railroad. It will connect the Pacific and the Atlantic coast, and it will meet in Utah. It will stretch 1,700 miles across the plains and mountains. 
The Union Pacific Company began westward from Omaha, Nebraska. Wow! The other company, Central Pacific, worked eastward from Sacramento, California. Mally works for the Central Pacific Company. Wait, let me tell. Uh, the Union Pacific Company relied on the Irish and the African Americans for their labor. Keep going, we're almost there. Only 42 miles to go. I don't get how he's still pushing us like this. We've already gone 700 miles over harsh terrain, including the Rocky Mountains. Good job, everyone. Now, if I call your name, get in a line. Eli, Atticus, Finn, Bo. Ada, Urkel Copperbottom, Felix, Mally, Kai, Harlow. You ten will be part of the group working on the last ten miles of the track. This is a privilege, and I expect you to be on your best behavior. Yay, this is such a privilege to work on the last few. Mally and the other workers were able to complete these last few miles in 12 hours. The two sets of track met in Promontory Summit in Utah Territory. Leland Stanford... Ooh, ooh, pick me, pick me, I know the answer! Okay, Angus, who was he? He, 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 was, he... Was governor? Uh... Yes. Nevada? No. Utah? Nope. Oregon? Just give up already. No! Okay, fine. It was California. I was gonna say that. Sure, what did he do? I'll let you take that one. He drove the last golden spike to join the railroads together. Then what happened? They took a picture. With all of them? No, they didn't include the Chinese, Irish, and African-American workers. That's sad. Yeah. Look, it's Texas. Why are we here again? I'm tired. Just go to sleep. Mom, why are we going? Well, here's the thing. You have a brother. What? Yeah, he kind of died. What? what? Yeah, he kind of died in the Alamo. What's that? The Alamo was the war against Mexico over freedom. Santa Ana, the president of Mexico, declared a small mission to invade a small barricaded Texan fort. They were defeated. They lacked supplies, and most of them died. The women and children were spared. The war lasted 13 days. They were able to fight them off for a very long time. But why are we here if he's dead? To pick up Peter's belongings. Who's Peter? Your dead brother! Be respectful, Angus. Wait, what are you talking about? Ugh. Ugh. We are here. Wait, what? I'll tell you later. Wait, does this have anything to do with your ex-husband? Uh... Plot, Plot twist! twist. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom, look at this. What is it, sweetie? It's a letter addressed to you. Let me see. Mom, thank you for giving me the foundation to move to Texas. I live in a small fort now. I just wanted to thank you for everything you did and didn't do for me. Say hi to Dad for me. Here's your money back. Look, there's $75 in here. It's dated the day before he was killed. He was going to send it. You know what? We're going to put this money to good use. Everyone in the wagon. Not again. Yes, again. One, One year, year later. We are picking the crops on our new land that we were able to get thanks to... Our dead brother! As I was saying, we were able to become homesteaders and purchase advanced supplies. Like this stick! No, we were able to purchase a new meal because the snail died.
Yeah, so who are you talking to now? The new mule. Angus! What? His name. It's Angus. No. Then, what is it? Uh, Alfie! Okay. No! Angus. Fine, continue. Thank you. We have fulfilled our lifelong dream, or two-year dream, and become and became homesteaders. We have fulfilled Manifest Destiny. Hi, I'm Dakota, and I was played by Madeline. Hi, I'm Angus, and I was played by Laurel. Hi, I'm Jane, and I was played by Madeline. Oh, and I was played by... No. Wait, wait, wait. Hold him there. Hold him there. <laughs> wait, come in one more time with him, because he started talking when he was off. Hi, I'm Pa, and I was played by Madeline. Howdy, I'm Ma, and I was played by Laurel. Thank you. 